Hey, thanks for your email and your questions about how a windmill works and suggestions for the next video. So you want to see how a windmill actually works, what's inside the gearbox? Well, I've taken the cover off to show you this one, but heck, let's just go climb a tower and let's look inside of a working windmill with the cover off so you can see how it all works. And oh, by the way, I want to show you this little guy right here, a million dollar invention that made a fortune for the air motor company. Follow me. We're going to go climb a tower. Let's take a look together inside the windmill gearbox. Windmills are simple little machines that start with the wheel turning, which then drives a main shaft. On the main shaft, there are two small gears. Those two gears turn and mesh teeth with two larger bull gears. As the bull gears turn, they move the pitman arms up and down. That causes the whole yoke assembly to go up and then down. And then it's connected to a pump shaft. The pump shaft goes out the middle of the gearbox into the mass pipe. Here you can see the assembly at work with the cover removed. Now remember, normally this is covered with a sheet metal galvanized cover that protects it from the weather. Here you can see the pump rod going up and down. It travels through the center of the mass pipe out of the windmill. The windmill gearbox contains 10 weight nodge detergent oil. It's very important that you don't overfill the windmill and that you use non-detergent oil so contaminants will settle to the bottom. A simplistic system keeps oil moving to the back of the windmill. Oil is carried by the gears up to the oil ring assembly. Every time the ring touches the gears, it lifts slightly. Let's watch it in action. The simplistic system of the oil ring touching the gear, lifting up and turning slightly, carried enough oil to lubricate the top of the windmill. This patented system was so simple and easy to produce, it made a fortune for the air motor company, as other companies struggled with complex pumps. However, it was critical that you keep the oil ring free and unobstructed. In the 30s, the air motor company kept a checklist for you to keep on the barn wall to remind you to change the oil. Nowadays, we just say, climb the windmill tower with your wife on her birthday so she'll never forget to change the oil. Whether you're looking for a small or a large windmill, be sure and check us out at texaswindmills.com and email us if you have questions about your windmill. Mm -hmm.